A disturbing trend being shared on social media has apparently made its way to Albuquerque. It centers around zip ties and human trafficking. Target 7's John Carnelli investigates the trend's presence in Albuquerque. You may have seen it on social media platforms like TikTok. A person reports coming back to their car with a zip tie like this on their door handle. It's believed that human traffickers are doing this to identify if someone is alone, marking them as a target. So on TikTok, I've seen a lot of um, little clips about people having zip ties and foreign objects tucked under their windshield wipers. Kalara Chavez is an Albuquerque resident who's seen the issue talked about online. I think if there's enough, enough people across the country talking about it, then it's an issue. Recently, a woman in Albuquerque reported this happened to her at the Target on Paseo del Norte. In her post on the Nextdoor app, she is warning women to look out for zip ties on their vehicle as sex traffickers do this to identify possible victims. Does it worry you a little bit that, that someone has posted this? Yeah, because that means it's moved closer to home than what I expected. Target 7 reached out to the Albuquerque Police Department and the FBI to see if they've gotten reports of zip ties being tied to vehicles. They told us in these emails they have not. No, we've not seen cases and I have not received any complaints. Uh, from individuals who, who have come across this. A quick Google search online shows some fact-checking websites like Snopes believe the trend is false. We are evaluating this to ensure that if it is a hoax and there are individual pranksters using this as a, a way to intimidate or scare people, they could get in trouble. New Mexico Attorney General Hector Balderas tells Target 7 it really doesn't matter if someone is doing this to identify potential victims or if it's a prank. The act is still criminal and should be reported. If you're uh, creating these false hoaxes to, to scare people and to create uh, uh, unrest, uh, you can also be investigated and criminally prosecuted. Hoax or not, human trafficking is a problem in New Mexico. Baldera says his office receives about 225 tips a month. There are things people can do to ensure they don't fall victim. We need to be careful that you're not messaging on Facebook that you're going to be alone or that a loved one is, is going out of town. We need to be fearful of that. Attackers will look for uh, ways to exploit the vulnerable. Balderas went on to say you should have all state law enforcement agency contacts in your phone. So if you find a zip tie like this on your door, you could contact them immediately. For Target 7, I'm John Cardinelli. The Attorney General's office offers trainings on how to be proactive against sex crimes. For more information, you can visit their website.